Howdy. Howdy, I'm Shaylee and today I'm going to tell you everything I regret about buying my Honda Trail 125. I originally bought this bike because I wanted to do some adventure riding and I was super inspired by C90 Adventures. However, I am only 4'11 and that does make it very limited to all the motorcycles that I can comfortably ride off-road. The only adventure bikes that even came close to being comfortable for me was the BMW F700 Low and even that had me struggling at stoplights. And before everybody comes at me telling me that Jocelyn Snow rides one and she's short too. Jocelyn Snow is 5'2". Certainly that is short too, but that is three inches taller than I am. And if you think three inches doesn't matter below the belt, then you can go ahead and change your Tinder profile from 6'1 to 5'10". Besides the GS being too tall, it was way out of my price range with the MSRP being around 10K. But that brings me to the first thing that I regret buying about my Trail 125, and that's a 4,000 MSRP. $4,000 out the door turns into $5,200 out the door really quick. And although it is cost efficient, I'm not convinced that it's cheap for what it is. Maybe that I'm just operating in a different tax bracket, but maybe that's why it just seems too expensive to me. But it's the most expensive motorcycle that I own by a lot when you consider the CC to dollar ratio. I love this bike, but at the end of the day, it is eight horsepower. And for five grand, Shade Tree Surgeon and I were able to ride across the country on two Honda Silver Wings and still have money for gas. I love this motorcycle, but the entry price is very limited. And if I'm being honest, I may have overpaid. Speaking of what it's able to do and not do, that brings me to my next point. It's inability to do highway speeds. And I know it's the Trail 125. It's not the Interstate 125. I wouldn't even really want to take it on the highway anyways, but here in America, you don't really have a choice. Even the back roads can sometimes have a 65 mile an hour speed limit, while the Trail 125 can only do about 55 as its top speed with me on it. Everyone Everyone in Florida treats the speed limit like it's Montana, reasonable and prudent. Whether the Florida driver takes that as 25 above or below, being on a road where the speed limit is posted at 50 miles an hour can be very dangerous on the Trail 125. And while I do want to complete the Trans America Trail this year, which is by the way, completely off highway, there is still posted speeds on the Trans America Trail that are 65 miles an hour. With some upgrades, the Trail 125 is capable of going 65 miles an hour safely. But that brings up another problem with this bike, the Honda hidden fees. $5,200 out the door is already pretty steep for what you get. And if you want to do 65 on this bike, you can plan on safely spending another grand on it, if not more. I do have a big bore kit sitting on a box over there, but that's not the only thing that I need to get. There's still exhaust and other add-ons that come with it. So this $4,000 bike is looking a lot more like $7,000 to have the experience on it that I want. At Brapstar, it's a labor of love to use the wrong tool to do the right thing. Still then, then seven grand to do 65 is very expensive for anyone. With a big board kit, that's 143 cc's or 12 horsepower for seven grand. When I first got the bike, I was very excited about having a four speed clutchless transmission. I do have some problems with some bone spurs in my clutch hand, so it's actually pretty nice for me. But when it comes to doing any sort of meaningful travel on a motorcycle, a four speed does have huge limitations. The more I learn about off-roading on my KX100, the more I know that I'm gonna miss the versatility that a clutch offers you off-road. I have heard doing a Grom engine swap is pretty easy, but the going rate for a Grom engine is also about another grand. And still that leaves me stuck with this 125 that's struggling to do 55 miles an hour. So if I want that clutch and I want to go 65, my 7k build is now pushing 8k. So I don't know if I will do the Grom swap to have a five speed and a clutch, but not having a clutch is definitely a regret on this bike. I did say earlier that my second choice was the BMW F700, but that is out of my price range. Although the capabilities drastically differ, at this point so would the price range. To get my trip 125 as capable as the BMW, I have to put more money in my build than a lightly used BMW. If I was a little bit taller, I would have gone with the BMW or potentially a Triumph Tiger as my off-roading choice. GS 700s, 800s, and Triumph Tiger 700s are regularly available for less than seven grand. And if you're getting into ADV riding, it's honestly a much better option than this bike. So with all my regrets set aside, I don't actually regret buying this bike. I love my Trail 125 and I have no plans to get rid of it even though it'll probably be the world's most expensive scooter by the time I'm done with it. I've had so much fun teaching people how to ride and bringing this bike to the camp out. Those are memories that I can't take away. And there's so many more memories to come. 
So if I'm being honest, I'm the problem. I bought this bike with the intention of doing something with it that it's not meant to do. This is a utility bike for running errands and it's not the off-roading adventure bike that I want it to be. But as we say in Brapstar Garage, any bike is an adventure bike if you have an adventure on it. Stay tuned for more Trail 125 content coming soon. And I don't know if I'll be able to do the Trans America Trail this year, but I really, really want to. So make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications on, and please follow me on Instagram for daily updates. It's the next day and I'm gonna use the Trail 125 for one of its original uses, which is as a post vehicle in Australia. So today we're gonna be using it to take your orders to the post office. Let's go get the last of the winter collection packed up because we have some new t-shirts coming in. It's not a cult. And if it was, I feel like we'd have the best cult outfits. So for everybody who doesn't know, this is Bilbo. He thinks he's helping pack orders, but actually he's just getting his pet dander everywhere. He's sorry. Then I realize I'm completely out of black cowboy hat hangers, so it's time to make some more. So tempting to just lane split way past all these cars. And if I have to sit this way one more time, I think I'm mine. Yeah, I'm going to the car right now. So much for tuning into this week's episode and if you're interested in more trail 125 content make sure you click the subscribe button i'll see you guys here next week okay bye bye <laughs>